What's up guys and welcome to another tutorial. Uh, it's Patrick here from Purple Park Studios and today we're going to be checking out uh, the skin modifier. I'm using Blender 3.0 but uh, if you have Blender 2.8 or 2.9 or you know one of the uh, older versions it, it should this should still be good for you to follow along with. Um, so uh, the first thing we're going to want to do is uh, we're going to go ahead and click this cube and tap into edit mode here and with all the vertices uh, selected we're going to hit M and merge them at the center and that will just create a single vertice vert, vertice, whatever you want to call it um, for us to use here. Um, now if you're if you're planning on modeling like a character or something it's always a good idea to add in the uh, mirror modifier first and you know if you've used modifiers in the past um, you know doing other stuff in Blender it, it'll work the same way and, and what we do to one side will automatically be done to the other side and it's just less work we have to do. Um, if you were going to model something like a tree or something, which I actually use, have been using the skin modifier a lot to make trees, um, you might not want to have the mirror modifier on, um, you know, because you, you might not be going for a super symmetric look. Um, but for the sake of this tutorial, we're just going to leave the mirror modifier on here. Um, and then you, after you add that, you can go ahead and add in the skin modifier. And I always like to add in a, a subdivision surface, you know, with maybe like, I don't know, we'll say like, uh, smoothing a two there, um, and I yeah this is uh, the skin modifier is great uh, great way to quickly make like characters or at least get like a good base mesh uh, mesh for a character. Um, a couple of the characters in uh, this video I uh, use the skin modifier to make pretty much all the characters, um, and also with this last animation here I used the skin modifier to make uh, both of these characters as well as all of the trees that you see in the video. And it, I, it, was, it was really quick and it, it was just great. So let's just dive right in here. All right, so the skin modifier is a little bit different um, than if you were to box model or you know just you know start modeling using like a cube or something. Um, because you would think in Blender you would just hit S to scale. Well, it doesn't really work with the skin modifier like that. You actually have to hit Control A and then that will allow you to scale the object. So. You know, just a, something a little bit different to remember, but it's not too hard. Um, everything still works the same. E is to extrude, and you can hit, you know, uh, Z or X to lock to the appropriate axis. Um, so I'm actually going to go into front view here and um, just hit E and Z and pull that up like that. And then I'm going to move um, the, let's go into X-ray mode here. Uh, hit A to select everything and I'm going to move everything up like that. And this is going to be, you know, like the torso and the, the, the middle area of our character here. So I'm going to select this bottom uh, vertice here and I'm going to hit E and X and pull that out like that there. And then I'm going to hit E and Z and extrude down. And these are kind of like his legs. And we can just, you know, go ahead and grab this uh, vertice here and, and move that in whatever we want to do, but I'm going to leave it out there for now because we'll fix this later. So then I'll go back up to here and I think I'm going to just pull this up a little bit more here and then E, X to extrude out and control A, control A to scale right there and then E and X and extrude out one more time right there. And obviously those are his arms and now you can go back down here and maybe you want to select this uh, vert here and you can control A and kind of, you know, scale that up like that, give them some thicker legs, and then maybe I'll select both of these here and just bring them in a little bit. And sometimes you'll get this weird squashing here of the mesh. Um, you just got to kind of grab a point and you can just, oh, there's two of them there. That could be a part of our problem. So I'll hit A, M, and by distance, and that, that fixed the problem right there. So somehow there was two. That was probably from earlier when I was extruding uh, on the Z and X axis, for example. Anyway, doesn't matter. Um, so now we can go ahead and I'm actually just going to extrude this out one more time, E and X, and that's kind of going to be our hand there. Control A and bring that down, and then I'll just tap into hit 7 on the numpad to go into top view. And here we'll just make a quick uh, hand. So I'm just going to extrude E and pull out for one of the fingers there. Do the same thing here and then again here and he's just gonna have three fingers this character because he's gonna be like a little cartoony guy if you want to give him a thumb you can um, I think I will go back into top view E just pull that out like that and maybe I want to make this one a little shorter and fatter there 
Maybe we can grab these. Holding down shift, if you hold down shift and select the uh, points here and then control A, it'll scale all of them down like that. And I might want to scale this thumb down a little bit again too. Oops. Oh shit. I was hitting just A, control A. There we go. So um, we, you can add fingernails, but we're actually going to do that later on. But because um, what I like to do is I like to map out my characters, the shape of them with the skin modifier. And then when I'm done with that, go ahead and apply it. Um, and then I can go in and manipulate all the geometry from there. And then that's when you can, you know, add another level of subdivision surface and create things like fingernails. And uh, I mean, we might get in that, into that in the, to this tutorial. But for now, we're just going to leave the hands where they're at. I'm going to hit one to go back into front view. And then I'm going to select this bottom point down here and hit three to go into side view. And I'm going to hit E and Y to pull out for the feet there. And you want to, if you hit, go ahead and try and hit control A now. Oh, well, it's doing it, but it might not be doing this for you. And, and if it's, if it's only scaling on one side or it's scaling weird, just click one of these center points here. I like to hit this one here and hit mark root and that should fix the problem for you. And then control A will let you scale on both sides. It was doing it for me, but it might not have been doing it for you. All right. So now that we have the feet there, I'm going to hit one to go into front view. And I kind of, I kind of want to just bring this in a little bit more. I don't like how that was so like fat looking. So we'll maybe bring this in here and control R to add in a point there. Control A, you could, you know, just start playing with the shape, get, you know, thicken them out a little bit more, or I'm going to keep it like right about there. It doesn't look too bad. And if you go um, back up into hit seven in the top view and scroll to these hands here and hit two on the top to go into edge select mode and you want, and you select these uh, edges right here, um, right click, subdivide, and I'm going to subdivide by two. So now if I hit one and go back in, it's created more points here uh, back in, in verse mode. And that's just later, the cool thing about the skin modifier is you can quickly add an armature. You have to go into object mode, but you can create an armature, um, which we will do in just a second. And it's a really cool way to just kind of see how your character is going to start moving. I mean, you could leave it like that if, you know, if you were, unless you needed like, you know, some serious rigging or something for like a bigger project. But if you just are, you know, getting used to like animating and stuff. It's a good way to like experiment quickly, uh, especially if you don't have a lot of experience with rigging. Back into front view here and then tab to go back into edit mode. I'll select this point up here and um, E to extrude and Z to lock to the Z axis and pull up right here for the neck. Control A to scale down a little bit. And then uh, E and Z one more time. I'll pull this up here and control A to scale out for the head. All right, so now as you can see, you know, you have a pretty basic rough outline of a character here. Uh, you could, you know, go back into edit mode and, you know, play with the shape. Maybe, you know, control A, scale down there, give them some, you know, skinnier arms or maybe, maybe scale down here. Whatever you want to do, uh, you know, really start defining the shape of your character here. Um, I'm actually going to add just control R one more uh, point down in here. And then if you're... Once you're at a point where you're satisfied with the rough shape of your character, you can actually go back into object mode and click this create armature here. And you can see that this will add in an armature, which you can automatically start using. You just got to go up here to object mode and go down to pose mode. And then you can grab um, one of these bones and just hit R and you can start moving around. So you can see that that's obviously not looking right. And that's because we didn't apply our mirror modifier first. So I'll control Z back there. I'll select on my character. And you know, it's always a good idea to make a duplicate. Um, so I'm gonna go up here and make a folder, a new collection and call it trash. You can call it trash or backup. I just got into the habit of calling it trash. And then shift D and then right click, move to collection, trash. And then you can go ahead and uncheck this here and that will hide that selection. So as before, if that was on, I selected my original cube. There's two of them there. If I uncheck that there, now that's hidden from render and from the scene. And now I just have one mesh, which is what I want. And if I, you know, if I ever need to go back, I can go back because I'm about to apply my skin modifier here. So I can always go back and have that skin modifier still applied on the mesh that's in trash, if that makes sense. All right, so first we'll go ahead and apply the mirror modifier. 
and then we will hit create armature and now if we go into pose mode and we click on one of these bones and we rotate it now it's only doing it to one side which is exactly what we want so you know you can start seeing it's it's really cool it's just a really neat way to like quickly start playing with your character and get some ideas and stuff you can always go back and you know re-rig him later and stuff but like I said if you're somebody who doesn't have a lot of experience with rigging it's just a super easy way to essentially just do nothing except for the modeling and you already have an armature it's pretty cool um, so for now I'm actually gonna hide that and go back into object mode and if I select uh, my mesh here I can go ahead and apply the skin modifier and you can go back in here and if, if you want you know less geometry to work with you could just hit one and two down here under the subdivisions um, and then I, I think that that's what I'm gonna do for now is I'm gonna stick with that only one level of subdivision and then I'm gonna go ahead and apply the subdivision modifier I'll go out of x-ray mode and if I tap into edit mode now you can see I have it's just a regular it's like I modeled this like box model or something you know but it was just way easier to do um, so now from here I can start manipulating the mesh even further so I'll go ahead and add in a subdivision service modifier um, this one I'm actually going to want it to be 2 and I'll change the render to 3 there um, and I'll click this little like upside down triangle here and that will just smooth everything out and I can click on either side well I guess that's because I don't have a mirror modifier modifier applied so at this point I'll click that there and then I'll go into front view I will go into x-ray mode and tap 1 to get into vert mode and I'm going to select this half of the mesh and then hit X and delete it the vertices Oh, control Z so it looks like it didn't select everything there make sure everything's selected then X the vertices and now I'll go ahead and add in a mirror modifier since I'm going to be manipulating the mesh I don't want to have to do it to both sides um, and I'll make sure that my mirror modifier is above the subdivision surface modifier and I'll check clipping and I'll go out of x-ray mode and now if I go in I'll tap 3 to go into face select mode you can see the mirror modifier is on and um, yeah this is what I was saying earlier if you were to click this toggle this on and off it just the mirror modifier still works you can just click on either side which is super handy because sometimes I'll just be like working on the mesh like over here and I'll be you know going around I'll click this side and it's doing it to both sides so it's, it's really nice to, to work this way at least for me um, so I'll hit 7 and go into top view and we'll just give this guy some fingernails because I think this is pretty cool um, you can just go ahead and make sure you're in face mode you can hit three up at the top here just go ahead and select these faces here where you want the fingernails to be and this is just a really simple and easy way to make fingernails and now there are a lot of ways to do it but I found for like you know low poly characters like this and stuff this is just great so uh, top view then I'll hit E and uh, well so actually once you have control Z that once you have your faces selected you can go hit one go in front view and then hit E and Z and just scale down a teeny bit there not much just like maybe like something like that and you can you can leave it there if you want um, there's some other methods I've seen people use but I mean this is just gonna work for now um, and I think it's a pretty simple way to just give your character uh, some detail on his hands so I'll go ahead and I should probably save my project I usually save a lot but I haven't been today and for the sake of this tutorial I think we're gonna leave this character here um, but you can really go ahead and you know model it further if you want some tips for modeling characters I have um, a, a tutorial on character modeling alright guys we'll have fun with the skin modifier you can do a lot of cool stuff with it if you like this tutorial don't forget to hit subscribe and leave a comment uh, let me know if you want to see something different or if there's something I'm doing wrong I could do better I'm always down to learn and uh, share ideas alright guys thanks for watching see you in the next tutorial